All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and a Shalom and a peace to the Yalat. This is Ashan coming at you with another video uh, for the Baltimore GMS camp. And um, I, I, um, I was uh, thinking about, um, I came across a couple of videos and thinking about how you know, some of these celebrities, they um, try their best to um, skip the curses. Now, um, human nature tell you you don't want to, you know, it's it's natural not to want to, you know, feel effects of uh, you getting punished and all that. But um, that's that's the uh, that's the lot we be given. Um, uh, while we in our captivity and these celebs no matter how much money you have uh floyd mayweather daughter is uh turned out to be a little thought man i mean she's pregnant by this uh pookie this uh little rapper rapping nigga that got all uh, he see she, she, he already got like maybe i think about five or six baby mothers some something like that in the ballpark and you know that's that's um in this system it's it's a shame because it's it's looked down on i mean we're not in our kingdom in the kingdom we're gonna have it like that but it's a curse to jake on this side to have uh multiple kids everywhere it's a curse because it's it's it ain't gonna do nothing to be a to be a more of a burden on you because you're in slavery you're in captivity. And you would think, you know, Floyd being, having a status, he worked so hard that, you know, even though his ass sold out, but you would think that his children would, would grow up to be decent. This, uh, his little daughter name, I believe is Yaya or some shit. And um, she's just running around being a, a reproach to his name. And the guy, he got uh, smart with a, uh, with her father, he he somewhat disrespected her father in front of him, and and that goes to show you how no matter uh, what position you're in, you can't you can't get around her curses, cause she, now she's pregnant by this little thug, uh, this little pooky thug nigga, and she's just being a reproach. Let me let me just play one of these. Is this a Look, she's got, she's just being a thought, man. Let's play this clip for you, brothers. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. is about to be a grandfather. He has confirmed that his 20-year-old daughter, Ayana Yeye Mayweather, is pregnant. The father of the child is her boyfriend, rapper and NBA Youngboy. Mayweather confirmed the news during an appearance on Hollywood Unlocked, Uncensored. In early April 2020, she was arrested. For Let me see. Later. I want to show you the caliber of this dude. I mean, this dude is just a straight nigga. And she ain't far from, you know, the Heavenly Father. A wicked woman is giving unto a, a wicked man is giving unto a wicked woman. And I get one of those days, one of those days for him. But at the end of the day, I only want the best for them. And I want to go to something else. Some sleep at night. And Floyd know damn well. He didn't want his, you know, daughter to get knocked up by us. You would think, matter of fact, I think Osei did a video on it. But this just, I'm not going to play the clip. You can't uh, get around the curses. That's a, cur a curse. And this nigga got, and black women, they do that often, you know. You are, we already know that, you know, they under the curses. You know, and uh, I believe 50% of black men don't have kids. So they would, instead of getting with a decent guy, they they, they would get with a uh, a pookie. When I say pook, pookie, I mean a, some street dude that ain't got no sense. He have five, six baby mothers. I, I believe this guy's... Uh, 
a rapper, so he, you know, he got probably got a couple dollars or whatever, but you know, all I'm on child support, and you would think that she would get with a, a half decent guy, you know, but they want the thug, they want to be Nicki Minaj and uh, Cardi B and all that, you know, so they, th th that's, that's the curses, let's get the scriptures, that's right in the scriptures, so Floyd, hey, that, that, the, the heavenly father got you, you know, I mean, your daughter, you know, you probably wanted your daughter to, you know, date a decent guy. And she's pregnant. It says, this is Deuteronomy. I'm going to go to uh, 15, start at 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of of the Lord thy power, thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And Floyd, that's a part of the curses, man. You know, your daughter, I I know that guy got smart. I can't find a video right now, but, you know, I, I believe a couple people did a video on it. You know, this guy got six, six baby mothers. And he, and he don't respect the guy, ain't got enough sense to even uh, have a decent conversation with you or respect. He disrespected you on, uh, you know, social media and got your daughter pregnant. I know I know you burning up in the inside, you know, but that's, hey, that's part of the curses. The Heavenly Father got, got you, you know, and then he, the Heavenly Father took out your, um, your uncle, you know. It says, curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. You know? Let's go down. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. So you're going to be cursed when you're born. You know, soon as you're born, these Edomites stick you up with goddamn uh, disease packs and the uh, needles and shoot all types of... Uh, pharmaceutical drugs into you so that's hey that's why you wonder why you know we be having all types of pains you know uh then when you die right we was talking about this account when you die you gotta pay when you got die go they cut you when you die you're supposed to be buried in that that, that day but when you die you go into the they put you in a morgue at the bottom of my hospital in a, in a cooler or the refrigerator. A, then they put you on a slab and cut you open and, and do and cut you all open and, and sell your organs. So you here it is. You land up. You, you land up on a, a cold slab. With your with your guts all cut up open. And they and Frankenstein slash Esau selling your organs. You know, and all that shit about, oh, no, I, I don't want to. I'm not a donor. It don't matter whether you pit no or yes. Esau owns you. So he, if he wants you to be a donor, he going to sell your organs in, anyway when you die. Because they're going to cut you open. Because none, none of the family members or none of us are there when they do the autopsy. So how are you going to know whether they took something out of your family member's body? They do that to everybody. They sell your organs. It's a black market. And knowing Esau might, is on a regular market, you know? They cover it up with, oh, yeah. Where, where you be thinking they getting, be getting the organs from? Oh, we got a donor. This guy needed, this Edomite needed a, kid, a kidney. This Edomite, that, that, what is that, Rothschild, he had 10, Dave, I believe it was David Rockefeller, whatever, he had like 10 heart surgery. Where you think those hearts came from? Young black men getting shot down on the street. When they when they did, oh, we got a heart for you. They took his heart out and gave it to Doc, uh, one of the rock that Rothschild, that Rockefeller. What's the Rock Rockefellers? All the Rothschilds on in America. They cut Jake open and, and take his organs. It says the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, 
and rebuke. It says, until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy dawn. See, we didn't obey the Lord. It says, whereby thou have forsaken. You know, let's go down. It's okay. It says, the Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, with a fever, and with inflammation. I'm sure every, every Israelite get fevers, inflammation. I get inflammation. My back be... Uh, we all messed up in this society. And with a, an extreme burning, I know all, all the brothers been through that, you know. You know, whether your body burning or you burning down the air. It's, it's a mess. But it's the Lord's doing. It's his punishment. It says, and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. Mildew is, is a disease. It's mold. You know, mildew is mold. And they shall um, pursue thee until thou perish. It says, And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is underneath thee shall be iron. And what, and what Jake usually say, what's the saying? We live in a concrete jungle. A concrete jungle. Everything around is going to be hard. You live in a cold, tough world. All right, let's go down. We get, it says, uh, it says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Um, go down. It says, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. And every Israelite brother, uh, we don't even, we never, uh, I don't believe I had a virgin. I could um, early on. But the woman that we with, they not virgins. A lot of the women that we with, they not virgins. Other men uh, already took that before we, you know, got what I, you know, most of that, you know, the brothers' wives and all that. And of course, out in the world, because the woman had the free, uh, Esau gave the woman freedom to be a whore. So they running all around here having sex with all types of uh, Edomites and the other nations. So our women are whores. You're going to, hey, it's rare you'll find a virgin. It's real rare. Oh, I would say damn near impossible down these days. You know? I ain't saying it can't happen, but. And, and when this girl, Floyd Mayweather, have a daughter, you know what they usually do. It, it happens time and time again. They get with the thug early. The thug to have, have a kid, a bunch of kids by him. And this is this is it. Cause that girl, yeah, yeah, you think in 10 years she gonna be with that nigga? She ain't gonna be with that nigga in five years. In five years, she gonna be crying about how black men ain't this and how so-called black men ain't that. But you chose to be with a thug. Here it is, you had the the uh your father is rich beyond for a Jake. You know, compared to, you know, the Edomites. But for Jake, he, he's wealthy. Not wealthy, but rich in this world. So you had a whole bunch of opportunities to at least pick, pick a decent uh, man. Even though, you know, you're in the world. But you bring reproach on your father. And um, so you're going to, in ten, five, ten years, you're going to be complaining about Ain't no good men out here. I'm a boss, bitch. But here it is. If it wasn't for your father, which is a so-called black man, you would be in a hood somewhere. You, you know, you wouldn't be here. You came through the lineage of him. They always want to talk about, oh, black men ain't this and black men ain't that. But here, you wouldn't be rich if it wasn't for your father. So you're spending a black man's money. You'd just be another thought in a hood. It says, thou shalt build in the house and, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Yeah. Let's go down. Uh, I ain't going to make this too long. Okay, here's it. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. 
So we don't we don't own our kids when we uh as soon as we have kids and uh you know you might have a woman that's having your baby is she having it in the hospital they're gonna already write them up they're already gonna put them on a um stock market because as soon as you have a, a a child they get a social security and a birth certificate and that's uh that's that's uh the raw childs are basically branded them so they're up on a stock market so you don't own your children Basically. And um that's that's all a point I wanted to bring out. That's in the scriptures, you know. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all the nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. And that guy, he ain't even have enough sense to call he called you out your name. So that's a a a, a, a example of a byword. He called you a byword, he called you a nigger. Ain't that something? The thug that got your daughter knocked up ain't having um, enough decency to call you mister or whatever. He called you a nigga. But that's it. Uh, I hope this was edifying, man, to the Akiya. Um, Yeah, I hope this was edifying to the body because... This ain't nothing but the curse is playing out. And Jake think he could skip him. But you ain't going to get over on the um, Heavenly Father. You know. And then and then she uh she got arrested for stabbing another. See, that's the curse. She got arrested for stabbing another girl and, and almost was facing life in jail. You know. Here go the guy right here. Uh, okay, here I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it, brothers. Now look at this. This this is the guy that got Floyd Mayweather's daughter pregnant. This a little rapper. Uh, What's up, YouTube? It's Ocho and YTV, and I'm back with another video. Twenty year old Yaya Mayweather, the eldest. Remember when I was saying that he ain't? Uh, he called him a nigga. He called him a bitch ass. Hold on. S excuse my language, but. Floyd Mayweather reacts to NBA young boy calling bitch as daddy and his daughter is pregnant. Daughter of boxing legend Floyd Money Mayweather is pregnant. Rumors spread after she showed off her baby bump while dancing with her 16-year-old sister Jaira Mayweather. On so yes, he called him a nigga, but he called him a bitch as well. So that's the bow word for you. That's in the scriptures. TikTok. But today, boxing champ confirmed the pregnancy rumors during an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. He told that Yaya is pregnant by NBA young boy. In addition to dropping the pregnancy bomb, Floyd Aders, a past incident when NBA young boy referred to Floyd, the Hall of Fame fighter Aders, that graciously was one could expect calling 21 year old young boy a child who basically had no home training. So now let's check this out the video. Come on. Now, I haven't even talked to you about this privately no. because, no. you know, it, like, I always tell people our relationship is it's a very sensitive yes. one because I do have a lot of respect for you and and, I, and you know I consider you family. Uh, your daughter Yaya dating NBA young boy yes. and she's now pregnant and yes. people have been talking about it and I've not even posted on Hollywood Unlocked because I feel like I'd rather have the conversation with you. How did you feel about that? Um, I just want the best for my daughter. Always want the best. If that makes her happy, then we're happy. Me and her mother is happy. But what I try not to do is get in her purse. Of course, A.B. Young Boy's own mother would have something to say about Mayweather criticizing her parenting. Sharon DeGaulin said any grown person knows that no matter how well you raise your kids, they will still say whatever they want. And she yeah, and that's the curses. I thought this was a video, the video, but I was trying to look at the one where he, uh, you know, called him out his name and all that, but... Uh, Let me see. Let me type. Hold on. Okay. Let me type it in. Floyd. Let me see something. 
going off Spectre for that stupid shit about Kodak Black's comments. Uh, I'm trying to look for the video. They be hating, they be lying on me too. Look at this. Hold on. Alright. Is this it? Lord of God. Okay, this this is it. This is it. He calls this the guy that called out Floyd Mayweather, disrespecting him or whatever, that got his daughter pregnant. Say. Bitch, say say. What it's about. That's what I really want to see. I'm just trying to see what it's about. These niggas hold Mike. Mike, yeah, these niggas be on my dick so bad. These niggas watch me from a jail cell, man. These niggas watch me from a jail cell and be on my dick so bad, nigga. And these, and these are the guys that these females uh, like. You know? But in 10 years, they'll be talking about ain't no good... Where all the good black men at? We all the we all I'm 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 t you know they didn't they didn't roll the cock carousel all throughout their they you know earlier twenties gave gave the goodies to the thugs but didn't want the good guy to uh to take the leftovers you know but a lot of men are waking up they they waking up to to the female nature you know because we you know, we at Great Millstone, we we took that pill a while ago when we came in this truth. You know? And that's the original Manosphere, all right? Great Millstone has the uh truth, you know, starting with the elders and apostles. But let's I'm gonna play this little clip clip of this uh nigga. Niggas bitches. Niggas be writing academics about me, man. I ain't telling academics to post shit about me. Niggas hoes. I ain't never paid attention to a nigga, especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say it. Nigga say I corroborated. Bow, bow, pain, bow, 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 bow. What, you stupid bitch? Huh? Bow, 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 my wife? And I, hey, uh, Salaki brothers, uh, uh, I don't know what uh, type of language that he's speaking in right now. I know it ain't Hebrew, but... You know, it's some type, you know, these niggas, they don't have decent, uh, you know, talking points or uh, a vocabulary, so. Huh? But my wife say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga? Huh? No, Call you see that? And 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 you mean to tell me they ain't they ain't the curses? Right in front of his daughter. Called called Floyd Mayweather a bitch right in front of his daughter. Salaki for my language. Inside inside my house that I paid for. Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga. Huh? And now her bitch ass daddy. I ain't never accepted. And she just sitting there. I I don't I, I she could be a little slow. I don't know, so I don't, you know, but that's how these women are, man. That's, that's the curses. That's how these young women are, you know. They're rebellious, and that's 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 an example of how the children of Israel did to the Lord. We were rebellious against us, so that's why He put us in this predicament. That's why He put all them curses upon us, uh, starting in Deuteronomy, the twenty-eight chapter, and it's in other, uh, you know, books like Numbers. But we mainly go to that uh, chapter because it breaks it down. Um, the majority of the curses. Not one thing for me in my life. Why? Cause y'all be playing with me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Nah, I give her anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pair of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever, wore, I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches. But, but with them black Chanel shoes, huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you was. Alright, that's enough. Alright, we don't need to 
hear any more of that uh, folly. But you see, she got the uh, the little blue or pink hair, whatever, whatever it is. You know, a lot of these young girls follow. Uh, they want to be like N Nicki Minaj and uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. That's the standard. That's the standard in the in the so-called black community. But I hope this was edifying to the body. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha, Kwadash. Tell again, Shalom.